I love LA and it's my first time here, so I'm really enjoying it. Right now we are at Deb Scott's studio. We're waiting to see Susie in the dress and we're going to be doing a fitting with her and seeing what needs to be fixed and everything before the unveiling. I actually have um, not seen the actual dress yet. I've heard about it, heard what it looks like and, and things that have been altered on it and, and about the fabric and everything. So right now, this is me my first time seeing it, so I'm really excited. They were all presented to me and I didn't uh, actually know if it was drawn by a, a woman or a man, then I sort of went through them in different iterations and you know took the ones out that I liked and and it ended up with Jillian. You know, I think the color of it, there's a simplicity to it, yet there's a edgy sexuality to it as well. Her use of fabrics and and the way it flows. So Jillian, what do you think? What do you tell us what you I love it. Is? I really I think it looks great. I love the fabric. It's really pretty. I like the, the choice of doing the empire too. I think mm -hmm. it definitely suits you. So I think it looks great. I like it. I'm very excited about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is so weird. Uh, right now we're just leaving the hotel. We're about to head up to Muse Elementary School for a VIP tour with Susie. And we're going to see the school, see what they do there and, and learn a little bit more about it. So you like this? Can you get used to riding in a town car? Definitely. I like it. <laughs> I don't mind being driven around. <laughs> Have you had fun? Yeah, I'm definitely having a blast. It's, it's been very busy. So this is our muse. This is our utopia for children. <laughs> I do think that exposing children to environmental consciousness, social consciousness, at a very young age, then it really just becomes their reference point. We're at Muse Elementary School. It is the school that Susie and her sister Rebecca founded. We inspire children to live more consciously with themselves, one another, and the planet. They focus on teaching the students about green living and, and about the environment, interacting with the planet, and learning to appreciate the, the planet that they have. Muse is a nonprofit organization, and so we do have to do a lot of fundraising in order to support the school and to support our global program. We came up with the idea of Red Carpet Green Dress to help us raise funds here at Muse. I feel like after finally seeing the school, I can understand more what the contest is all about. And now that I've seen the school and seen the kids, I understand it even more and I'm even more enthusiastic about it. Sorry, <laughs> yes, it's a beautiful dress. Yeah. And it's much bigger than just a beautiful dress. Yes. Ultimately, it's not about fashion. It's not about sustainable fabrics, it's not about sustainable clothing, it's about understanding the foundation of our planet's natural systems. Oh yeah. You know, and that's the most important thing. And I mean if we're going to be here on this earth and living harmoniously with it in the next fifty years, we need to think about those things now. Luckily we're starting to talk more about sustainable fashion because we only used to touch on it a little bit, but because of the contest and everything it's becoming a lot bigger of a deal. It's a, it's about creating awareness around sustainable clothing and creating awareness around educating children in a transformational way. Sustainable design is uh, using renewable resources and you use them in your design. Um, a lot of times that means you know organic cotton or bamboo fabric. As we got into fabricating the dress, we had a very interesting journey sourcing the fabric. Designing a red carpet look out of, you know, bamboo fabric, for instance, you know, fabrics like that, it does have to go through a lot of chemical processes in order to make it a soft, like, nice fabric, and then it isn't so eco-friendly. So there's sort of a fine line that you have to cross. And now I'm on a mission <laughs> out of this little idea to really try to make a change in the way we look at creating fabrics and dyeing fabrics and not just for fancy dresses but for the clothes that we wear every day. It's just um, a way to be more eco-friendly, to be more conscious of what um, you're putting into the environment because fashion design is so fast-paced and it changes so quickly that it's important to sort of think about that in your designs because a lot of times you wear them once and they're out the door. <laughs> Oh, yay! <laughs> <laughs>
Did you see her grab that on the <laughs> Yeah, I know. Like, man. This is our, this is our that crew sucker. from Michigan State. Is a single dress going to save the world? No, it's not. But it's going to challenge the fashion industry and by ex by extension the entire clothing industry and all industries to think in terms of the of the toxic dyes they put into products, to think in terms of where the fabrics come from, to think in terms of the, 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 the slave labor, the child labor that's used to produce those fabrics, all of those things. I think it's awesome. I wore a bamboo dress, a dress made out of bamboo one time, and I really liked it, and I'd love to explore the um, eco-fashion world more. The first thing you have to have is a sense of outrage that, 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 that this is happening and, and not enough is being done. And then that has to trigger action, not a sense of being overwhelmed. People need to feel empowered that on an individual basis they can make a difference. Well, I think it's important to give people an alternative, you know, to give them a sense that there are choices that you can make and, uh, and that some of these choices are, uh, can be sustainable. And it's just inspiring young designers and people who are going to be coming into the industry to be sustainable in their garments. You know, we just have to live differently. Well said. I just went on a rant. <laughs>